Yeah, and Cheryl, Melanie Clark started out by thanking everyone in the community that has been supporting and standing by her family during what she has described as the past two difficult years, starting on that night of October 11th, 2018. She said that included the firefighters and police who responded to the scene and attempted to save Lieutenant Brad Clark's life and to the Commonwealth's attorney for achieving the conviction in this case. Again, Lester Labarge is the tractor trailer driver who was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter and reckless driving for crashing into that accident scene that Clark and others were responding to while Clark was killed. Other firefighters were injured as well. Now, Melanie Clark says that she is not celebrating this conviction, but as it does give the family some comfort that justice was served. But she added that her husband's death has not been in vain because in that time since, they have been able to strengthen the state's move over laws and to create the Lieutenant Brad Clark specialty license plate that goes on sale in December and will help raise money for the families of firefighters who are injured or killed. So for our family, that is the, maybe the only positive um, thing that will come out of this is that hopefully we can save another family for going through the devastation that we have. Now Clark says she'll remember her husband as a great man filled with laughter and joy coming up at five o'clock tonight. We'll tell you about what she'll be doing to carry on his legacy. Meanwhile, for Labarge, the tractor trailer driver, he still remains to be sentenced in this case. That will happen January 13th of next year, and he faces up to 11 years in prison. Working for you in Hanover County, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.